Hey everybody, it's Chris at Oak Street Garden Shop in Crestline Village. Uh, we're at midsummer, late summer, August, and I wanted to give you some tips on container gardening. So the first thing when you're planting a container is you wanna take a look at where it is. Is it in the sun? Does it get, get hot sun all day long? In Birmingham, that can get really, really hot and you have to find the right plants for that spot. Or is it shady? Um, does it get morning sun and afternoon shade, which is a little bit, uh, you know, it's fine for a lot of plants here. Um, so that's the first tip, know your light. All right, so you figured out where your planter is going to be, what kind of light it's getting. Then you want to choose your plants. Let's just talk about flowers first. You want some color, um, but what do the blooms look like? Are they round? Are they spiky? Are they light and airy? Um, this particular planter, uh, late summer, we've got a really airy euphorbia and the round bloom of a sun patience. This is gonna take us well into fall. So you've got your blooms going, you're, you've got, you've picked out your color, you're, 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 you know, you're okay with that euphorbia and that sun patience, but you also want to think about foliage. You can get color from foliage. You're looking at right here, we have a coleus and some creeping jenny. You not only get a leaf, different shape leaves here, you also get different colors. So you kind of have an idea now of your blooms, your foliage, always remember, and this is something that even you can start with, um, when you have a large planter, it's really good to have large plants, have it be in proportion to the planter. Um, we might have a large, uh, large, tall container. You're going to want something with maybe some, some tall foliage and big leaves it would be really dramatic in a planter like that. Something smaller, and this is sort of a mid-sized planter, you don't need anything just huge. Um, the plants will grow in the planter uh, and it'll come into, the plants will grow uh, and get larger in the planter. What you need to figure out is how big those plants are gonna get in proportion to the planter you choose. So another tip, and um, again, one of, one of the first things you really even think about is, what is the setting of your planter? Do you have, um, let's say, crepe myrtles that are gonna bloom midsummer and they're gonna have purple blooms or they're gonna have a bright pink bloom? Do you want red flowers under that? I mean, it's, it's one of those things that you really wanna understand and think about what the setting is. Um, one of the easiest things is if you have a dark green uh, evergreen hedge and you can put lots of color in front of it, um, having all sorts of other material around it makes it a little bit more confusing sometimes for people. Um, but just sit, think about it, think about where it's going, think about the colors you like, and take it from there. All right then, you've got your planter planted, you're happy with it, you've been watering it, maintaining it is the next thing you gotta think about. Maintenance and plantings is probably the most important thing. When you have plants that bloom profusely, um, this might have, let's say, uh, a, a, a zinnia in it. Um, as the blooms fade, you need to trim those off. Maybe you've got, right here, I've got some, some leaves that need to be pinched out of there to keep it looking good. I always tell people, if there's a yellow leaf on a plant, it is never gonna turn green again. Get rid of it. It'll make it look so much better, I promise you. So maintenance, watering, deadheading, cutting faded blooms, taking off yellow leaves, really important to keep your planter looking its optimal best. So there you have it, your planting tips for container gardening in the Birmingham area. If you have more questions, come see us. Uh, Oak Street Garden Shop, we're here from nine to 5.30, Monday through Saturday. You can also go to oakstreetgardenshop.com and search for container gardening.